Hi everybody, it's Fragrant Jock here with another Honest Opinion. Today's going to be a very quick Honest Opinion. Today's Honest Opinion is on another KDJ. I'm going through this um, company and trying most of the fragrances because I think what I've tried so far is very worthwhile and like Dua most of them that I've tried have got just as good a performance um, as the OGs if not better um, as I say and I've said before um, Dua and companies like this do a good job um, because I do tend to think we get rather ripped off with the bigger companies um, and it's not the fragrance, it's the packaging and the marketing. Um, this is a no frills packaging, decent bottle. Some of the sprayers that have got a wee bit of an issue with the spraying, but mm, they're okay. Um, I've tried a couple and they're not as good as they should be in others, but um, still, it's the juice that counts and, a, and it's decent juice. And this, this is KDG's version of Enigma uh, by Roja Dove. And what I can tell you of this one, it's listed as the same notes, £35 for 50% uh, oil concentration, 50 ml. If you're anywhere in Britain, it comes within a couple of days. I've had to wait like, a week sometimes, but I don't think it's anything to do with the company. I think it's the post. Um, but what I can tell you about this is it's... You know, I've got to do a version of, of Enigma, uh, Midnight with a Mobster, and I had Enigma as well, the cologne, and this is exactly the same. This is why I sold most of my uh, very expensive fragrances. Um, this is basically the same. I've worn it a couple of times. It projects really well. Uh, longevity is really good as well. Um, I think somebody was talking to me on the Facebook groups or on my, uh, on my uh, YouTube uh, group and saying it doesn't last as long as Midnight with a Mobster, That's probably right I think they do a slightly longer lasting ever so slightly though this projects really well I had it on yesterday went out a walk, you can smell it, you're getting wafts here um, not to wear in the same heat but certainly um Kind of cooler mornings or cooler nights um, and I walked into the shop and obviously there's screens and things and I bought some th stuff and the, and the young girl said to me can I ask you what fragrance you're wearing and I told her it was Enigma I know she probably doesn't know what Enigma is but I says it's a uh, it's a Roja Dove I didn't want to get into great details and tell her it was a inspired expression but she says I really like that um, so I've had compliments with it. It really is a nice fragrance. You get that. You do get that Coca Cola vibe off it, but there's more than that. You get that hint of tobacco, and it's not a strong tobacco or a um, no. No, you get some fragrances. It's just too much. But I think it's Zara Black. That just smells like an old man's pipe to me. It's nothing like that. It's it's a it's a appealing and you know mass appealing kind of smell this um, but it really is worthwhile as I say £35 um, for 50ml and get the 50 I would suggest you get the 50% concentration that's what I've been buying but it really is a worthwhile scent uh, I, I totally recommend this one uh, the KDJ uh, site you know I, I don't think you know apart from that one with the Oligarv because it was too much like to DMS, but everything I've tried so far is is really quite good. There's been a couple that haven't been as good as others, you know, but you'll get that we do and things like that as well. You the, the Hasifa uh, KDG version is, is good, but it's not exactly the same. Well, never exactly the same as the original, um, but it's a nice scent. But uh, I've tried the Sedley or Leighton. Um, really lovely. The other one that projects really well that I totally recommend is the Aventus and Baccarat Rouge Hybrid. It really is a well worth sight. As I say, I get I went full circle, get ready on my really expensive stuff, 
and it's the juice that counts. I mean, the other thing I would say about these, they seem to, you know, perform and smell a wee bit better when I've left them about a week or so. You know, I keep mine in a cupboard, in a dark cupboard. Um, and I would say when you get it right away and you spray it, just do a tester. Spray it right away and then leave it somewhere cool for about a week and a half. And see when you spray it again, there will be a difference. It, it just seems to settle more. I don't know whether it's a transport, you know, or it's just been bottled or something like that. But it settles and it's really good. I find that with the doers as well. I mean, they're coming a long way for LA. These are made in Bolton, I think, so it's a wee bit different. But I would leave it for about a week or so, or a few days at least, and try it again and see what you think, because it definitely works for me. Anyway, just a quick honest opinion. As I say, I totally recommend this one. As there, if I can focus. Um, it's a new phone I'm using. It's definitely Enigma. I'll need to sort the focus better. Um, but it really is a lovely fragrance. It's probably going to focus for that distance. Yeah, there it's there. It really does. Um, let me fix that. Um, but it really is a well worth scent. And you'll get compliments. If you've tried Enigma Cologne, or you've got a bottle of Enigma Cologne, which has cost you 200 and odd pound, 225 I think it is, and you get a free 7.5 ml atomizer with it if you go into the Rosier site. I mean, they're lovely bottles, Rosier, but, and I was also seeing a, uh, Jeremy Fragrance had a video today about boxes. You know, I'm in the same opinion as him. Boxes don't really matter to me. They don't, they matter if you're selling them on. You'll keep them, but really, are you going to put a box on display? You know, it's good to look at it for five minutes, and then you're going to bin it. You know what I mean? So it's it's really a waste of money. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Just a quick, honest opinion. Um, I say recommend this one, KDJ, for anybody to try. Okay. Anyway, I thought I hope everybody's safe and well, and I'm stuttering a bit because I'm just off a night shift. Bye for now.